playoff hockey. It doesn't matter what the series is. You know, they're going to bring their best game tomorrow, and we know that. And we've got to keep playing the way we're playing, and I think we still got a little more to give, and you know, we'll probably show it tomorrow. Pretty even keel locker room right now. Is it the same as it was two weeks ago? Is there a different feel? No, it's the same feeling. All playoffs is long, and you know, every game means something. If you're down 3 nothing, it doesn't mean anything. Or if you're up 3 nothing, you just got to get that final game, and that's probably the hardest one. And we know they're going to come in tomorrow here in our building and give everything they have. Do you expect them to be more physical through the first two games? Uh, they're still playing hard out there. You know, I think we're matching their physicality. You know, we got a lot of guys in there that are willing to do anything. And, you know, it's been an even keel series right now. And, you know, like I said, you know, they haven't shown their best yet, and they're probably going to bring it tomorrow. What do you think has been working so well for you? Uh, I'm just working hard, doing the little things right. You know, it's playoffs, and it's the most important time of the year. And sometimes you got to do less, and less goes a long way. And, you know, we just got to keep going as a team. You know, we run four lines, and... You know, we're so deep, and we just got to keep playing like that. It's going to work out special teams for you guys, both power play and penalty kill, being one of the top teams left in the playoffs. I think we're just executing. You know, we're getting a couple of lucky bounces here, and you know, we just got to keep working hard. If we don't score, we just got to get momentum for the next guys going out. And you know, like I said, you know, we're getting bounces, you know, and you know, stuff scoring our way. You know, getting lucky passes going through skates and stuff like that. So it's always good, and we just got to keep working hard. Can you flash back a couple months even um, and just talk about the kind of the road you've taken these last couple months and things are so different where you're at now than where you were then. Could you have imagined you'd be in this situation right now? Well, hockey's always a funny thing. You know, it's a business. You can end up anywhere. And it was, it was funny. You know, I was, got put on waivers and claimed and got traded. And, you know, it's all a part of the business. And that's what we're, we're known to do. And. I just got to take it. I take it as a positive, and you know, I took it as a positive coming back here, and you know, now we're trying to make a run for the Calder Cup. You said you expect them to turn it up a notch. Do you guys feel like you still have another gear? You have room for improvement? Yeah, you know, we always have another gear. Every team always has another gear. You know, I don't think we've shown our best, and almost a game we we turn it on, and then there's just little minutes that we take a time off, and then you know they got a lot of good players over there that can put it in the back of our net. We just got to play a full 60. It's hard to think your special teams can get much better. Well, you're always there for room for improvement, and you know, no one's ever perfect, so you always got to keep working hard and doing the little things. What's clicking with that right now, though? It's, is there something you can put a finger on on why both your power play and your penalty kill are just so hot right now? Ah, just doing little things right, and like I said before, we're getting the bounces, and we're getting lucky sometimes, and I'll miss clear, and then we turn around, and we still get possession over there, and. We just got to keep doing the little things. Victor Dipsol is a young player, still navigating the North American game. What have you seen from him in this small amount of time? He's already starting to contribute to you guys. Well, he's a great player. You know, that's why they signed him. They've seen a lot of interest in him and a lot of capability. And it's showing. You know, he's big, strong. He's got a great shot, and you know, he's a smart player. And hopefully, he keeps uh, working hard. Is there a different feel in this series compared to Chicago, a team that you know Rockford had faced for 12 times coming into the series? Uh, I don't think so. I, you know, we didn't see him a lot there, but you know, every team in this stage is probably going to bring their best effort. And every team's good. Every team can be at any team on any given night. And you know, we go over our pre scale and stuff. We just got to worry about what we can do. And you know, they haven't shown their best yet. And I guarantee they're going to bring it tomorrow. You guys are playing so well on the road. Does it even matter that you finally have a home game here? Does it, does it make a difference? Yeah, home ice is always perfect, but you know it doesn't matter where you're playing, home or away. You just got to keep doing what you're doing. And it'll be fun to have the crowd behind us, and hopefully we can get the win tomorrow. You guys are using that kick them while they're down, uh, step on their throats right now, and don't let them back into it kind of mentality at all. And then, I don't think we even talked about that. We're just preparing game by game, and you know, like you said, we got them where we want them. But it's a long series. You know, two nothing can be a race in two games, and you know, next thing you know, it's two two. So we just got to keep working hard and do the little things that got us here.